years ago this morning, the largest invasion force the world has ever known was embarking on a mission to liberate Nazi-occupied Europe. The story of one of the mission's chief commanders, Miles Christopher Dempsey, began right here on the 15th of December, 1896, in this quiet road in the corner of New Brighton. Miles went, went on to graduate from Sam in 1950 and was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Royal Berkshire Regiment. As a junior officer, he fought on the Western Front during the First World War, where he was wounded and awarded the Military Cross. During the Second World War, he formed a close relationship with General Montgomery, commanding the Second Army during the Battle of Normandy, where he led rapid advances in the subsequent campaign in northern France and Belgium. One of his contemporaries wrote of him, He was shrewd, he never flapped, and consequently his Second Army HQ was highly efficient and devoted to their commander. I doubt whether anyone else could have worked so harmoniously and successfully with Montgomery as his immediate boss. The two were complementary. Montgomery, the extrovert who loved the headlines, Dempsey, the introvert who shunned publicity, but got on with the job efficiently without any fault. Miles Dempsey retired from the army in 1947 as, and was involved in horse racing, breeding and racing his own horses. He even went on to become chairman of the Race Course Betting Control Board from 1947 to 1951. Although he always shunned the, the limelight and fuss, I believe that this recognition from one of Wallace's most illustrious son, General Sir Miles Christopher Dempsey, GBE, KCB, DSO, MC, DL, is lovely. Now, Yeah, please, please.